This August saw the Claypeter State Musical Theatre Symphony Orchestra stage a magnificent production of Wagner's groundbreaking opera, The Flying Dutchman, for the first time in Lithuania. The production featured several locally born soloists, including Sandra Janoszajte, leading soprano of the Lithuanian National Opera and Ballet Theatre, and was one of the most celebrated musical events of the year in Lithuania. Fittingly, the production took place in the open air at the historic shipyard complex in Klaipeda, its vast structures and hoists making for a unique and spectacular setting. Wagner's operatic feast was enhanced by the professionalism of the NGR service team, one of the largest audio rental companies in the Baltics, as well as their top of the range, Digico and Maya sound equipment. We selected Digico SD12 96 channel console with SD and D2 series racks. As for why Digico, that's easy to answer. The proposed setting for the opera was at a historic cruise ship terminal by the sea in a windy open area and the task was to make the orchestra and solace sound as natural as possible as it would be in an acoustic concert hall. On the top of the challenges provided by the unique location, the performance also included the range of special effects, including falling water and the arrival of the real ship, while the huge state space with lots of action taking place in different areas also presented issues. These demands were overcome by digital consoles, ease of operation, their speed of function selection, and without any doubt, the best sound amongst other consoles in the market. All of which enable us to fully realize the concept of production director. In terms of sound, the NGR team faced an extraordinary challenge, primarily because of the seaside location and the need to cope with very changeable weather conditions, including rain and intense winds, sometimes reaching more than 20 kilometers an hour. On location, the sound engineers repeatedly analyzed and evaluated wind speeds and the rigging of the systems at various positions, taking into account the seating positions of the spectators, which were constantly changing due to the pandemic. One day we had one ground floor layout, the next day another. So I was very impressed with the team's professionalism throughout and their efforts to ensure we could transmit every sound to each spectator in the audience. Another complexity of the sound was that the stage was over 50 meters wide, a big challenge not only for the performers, but also the sound engineer team. When performers are separated by a distance of more than 40 meters, the monitoring systems, visibility and relationship with the conductor all have to be flawless, not to mention the main PA and the delay systems. I didn't hear a single artist say that they felt uncomfortable singing, which is a major credit to the team's abilities. The installation of the sound systems was really complicated, requiring the technicians to rig the system on a shipyard construction that was designed and built more than a hundred years ago. Three clusters of the main PA and the delay lines were installed very precisely. This was probably the first opera in Lithuania where there was no criticism from musicologists, critics or sound professionals, certainly that I'm aware of. The panning of the soloist in particular was very accurate so that the viewer's attention moved not so much with the lighting or action, but more with where the sound was coming from. Technologically speaking, The Flying Dutchman was one of the most challenging projects I've worked on, but I can safely say that it was realized with a complete professionalism. The NGR made themselves available from the moment we started thinking about staging the opera, and the result, I think, was flawless sound that was integral to the event success. To give you an idea of the scale of work needed, 70 wireless systems were used to microphone the opera performers with omnidirectional headsets and 50-piece orchestra with clip-ons, lavaliers and more. The choreography of opera was constructed in such a way that there were a number of solids and choir parts performed outside the stage. Additionally, the artists were constantly moving around, changing their position in terms of orchestra, the audience and the PA. Thanks to the unique macros function of digital consoles, all of these challenges were met and overcome with ease. The audio material of the whole show was recorded in a multi-track and having the ability to expand our console outputs with DMI cards made it very convenient. The Flying Dutchman is a classic and beloved opera based on an ancient legend of a lonely sailor doomed to sail the seas for eternity with a ghostly crew of dead men 
unless he can be redeemed by love. Inspired by a turbulent sea voyage taken by Wagner himself, new life was breathed into the opera by this unconventional and exciting production, with Digico proving an essential part of its success.